What is up, YouTube WWE Toy Collector here with my Q&A video. Let me just fix you guys. Um, you guys sent out a bunch of questions, and I'm going to answer them for you. So we're just going to get right to it. I don't want to waste any time. At WWE Supercard 111 asked, What is your top three favorite figures? Uh, I actually picked them out. One. Elite. Oh, my God. What is it? 29. Umaga? 39? Uh, 20. Oh, my God. 39 Umaga. Uh, this is actually my top. It's up there. Um, the WrestleMania 31. Uh, Seth Rollins. This figure was actually badass, and I like it. And my favorite top of all time, come on now, who's not going to say this badass Finn Balor? Great custom, oh my gosh, it's not even the custom, <laughs> I was about to say custom. Um, the detail of this figure is so insane, so this is actually my number one top favorite. <laughs> Hope that answers your question, buddy. Alright, uh, AVC Armin508 asks, do you like John Cena? Um, it's like a, a yes or no. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really crazy about John Cena. I'm not a huge, I'm not a fan. Uh, I, <laughs> this is a question that. I don't know. Let's just say, no, I think his time should be done. I'm sorry to say that, but John Cena has to go now. But, yet again, it's entertaining when he comes out. People are booing him, chanting him. I don't know, it just gets nerve-wracking, you know? But I'm going to say no. I don't want Cena. Matt, Matt, Mr. Vich, or Vich? I'm sorry if I'm saying your damn name wrong, buddy. <laughs> I was not good in school. <laughs> favorite diva, favorite NXT diva, favorite NXT superstar, favorite WrestleMania. All right, favorite diva on the WWE main roster now. Uh, I got two of them: Sasha Banks, of course, and Becky Lynch. <laughs> Hey NXT Diva, Bailey. Hands down is Bailey. I love Bailey in the beginning. And I love her now. <laughs> NXT Superstar. Finn Balor, baby. I love Finn Balor. Ever since he Oh man. Forget about it. When he, he wasn't even called Finn Balor, he was called Prince Devitt. Way before he came to NXT. Oh man, he forget about it. Favorite WrestleMania. Uh, I did love WrestleMania 31. I actually Enjoyed it. Um, that that WrestleMania was insane. That's my favorite. Uh, WrestleMania 25 was actually pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm trying to remember some of these WrestleManias because there was so much different matches that were unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I'll say 31 and 25. Uh, let's see what we got here. Favorite TV show, favorite store for toys, favorite pay-per-view, favorite TNA diva, and star. This is from the same guy, Matt. <laughs> he asked a bunch. Favorite TV show? I'm going to say Family Guy. Uh, whenever it comes on, I always put it on to watch it. It's hysterical. I love it. Family Guy all the way. <laughs> I have more, but, you know, top is Family Guy. Favorite store for toys? I'm going to say Toys R Us. Toys R Us is the top one. Second is Walmart, for sure. Favorite pay-per-view? Um, oh, my God. I don't know. They had so many pay-per-views. It's not even funny. <laughs> well, I'm going to say WrestleMania. 
WrestleMania is where all where everything happens, where all the dreams come true, and yeah, you know, the grandest stage of them all, is WrestleMania. I do like Hell in a Cell. That is actually pretty good, and the Roller Rumble. Uh, favorite TNA Diva and Star. Um, I don't really watch TNA that much. Well, I, I should say, really haven't been watching TNA in years. But I know a few guys are on there. But Divas, oh god. Is Velvet Sky still on TNA? Or Gail Kim? If not, then I don't know. TNA Star. Well, I know Jeff Hardy's in it. He resigned, sadly, so I'm going to say Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy was always my favorite. Andrew Carmen says, favorite superstar and diva. The main roster superstar. Let's get to the divas first. Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch, like I said. And favorite superstar. Oh, that is on the main roster now. Um, I don't know. Seth Rollins and Ambrose is up there. It was Daniel Ryan, but sadly something happened. So I'm gonna either say Seth Rollins or Ambrose. They're both I like I like both of them. Hunter, no, ah, uh, yeah, Hunter or Honor eight eight ask best figure of 2015. Best figure of 2015 right here. First time on the line. Elite 39. Umaga. Is it Elite 39? Elite 40? I cannot even remember. It doesn't even say it on the damn thing. And, you know, I can't keep track. But it's... I think it's Elite 40 Umaga. Yeah, but hands down, this Umaga is the best of 2015. Um... Minecraft Inc. Spider-Man says, What inspired you to do videos? What inspired me to do videos is... I'm going to say, believe it or not, it is Grimm's Toy Show. Um, I remember watching him way before he is where he is now. Uh, I collected figures. He collected figures. And, you know, what a great way to, you know, show something what you love, you know? And that actually inspired me, believe it or not, Graham, if you're watching, you the man. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't say anybody else, really. No, I thought it was cool to show off your collection or, you know, to do YouTube videos. I love doing this YouTube stuff. You know, I love it. You guys love it. 2,000 some subscribers, that's insane, you know, you guys rock, I'm happy with 2,000, you know, if this keeps going, you know, it, it, it's inspiring me more, you guys are also inspiring me to keep going, Jimmy Hopkins, Jimmy Hopkins Orton says, favorite top five rivalries, <laughs> oh my god, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, oh, God. I think Shawn Michaels and John Cena rivalry was... I think it was pretty cool. That I kind of enjoyed. Um, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy rivalries. Edge and Jeff Hardy. Any rivalries with Edge. That I actually enjoyed. CM Punk's. Um, what was that? Three so far? <laughs> two more. Two more. Let's, let's go back in time. Um, oh, God. <sighs> I don't know. There's so much out there. Eddie versus Rey Mysterio. That is actually up there, believe it or not. I thought that was great. And, oh man, I'm looking at my toys to see if I could think of something real fast. I don't know. 
So far we have four. Probably Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. Oh yeah, that's five. Or maybe Goldberg and Lesnar. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much good rivalries that they had. Jordan asked, when did I start liking WWE? And I remember this question was in my last Q&A that I forgot when I did that. A month ago, probably. Um, it started off with my brother. He actually enjoyed wrestling. He he, he grew up watching the old timers. You know, my brother is 26 or 27 years old. And he was watching when Bret Hart was around, when ECW was around, RVD, Rhino, Raven, Sandman, all those guys. And it wasn't really because of him. I remember my first WWE show. Uh, I wasn't crazy about it. Uh, the, my good friend I know, Dennis, he is a CEO of Divine Woods. It's a furniture store. I knew his sons and friends. And he invited me to go to wrestling with them. And we actually, believe it or not, we actually drove out in the party bus to the IZOT Center in New Jersey. And I believe it was for Monday Night Raw. And I actually enjoyed it. That's when The Undertaker was actually having a rival with Edge. I remember that. And Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder had longer hair. They came out starting to find The Undertaker. And Kane came out to help the Undertaker. That I remember. <laughs> that was that's when I started liking WWE. T Swan Animations. Do you have more than one best figure? Of course, everybody does. Finn Balor, Umaga, Seth Rollins, uh, the X Pac, the CM Punks, Shawn Michaels, to Dean Ambrose. Uh, it could go on and on. <laughs> I, I do like the Roman Reigns. It's pretty cool. Kane. Undertaker. Neville. It could go on. Edge. <laughs> yes, I do have more. <laughs> Hunter Danfier. Danfer. If I'm saying it right, I don't even know. I don't. Like I said, I sucked in school. <laughs> Favorite Hall of Famer, probably the Nature Boy Ric Flair, two-time Hall of Famer. That that was crazy. So I'm gonna go with Ric Flair on this one. WWE fan one two four X, what do you think about Danny Bryan retirement? You gotta remind me that his retirement. It was bullshit. Ever since we saw that tweet, I hope it was not true. I thought, uh, I didn't want to believe it. And no, it was not going to be like a Mark Henry, uh, when Mark Henry was going to retire, but yeah, he, he turned around and he's not retired. Um, it, it sucks. It really did. If you saw my last video, I was crying. I don't. I didn't give two shits if you guys knew if I was crying or not. Daniel Bryan was my all-time favorite ever since he was in ROH. Way before he came into WWE, I've been watching Daniel Bryan. Uh, you know, it really sucks. It's like you know we're not gonna see him again. Like we don't see Edge. You know, when Edge retired, that I lost it. Ric Flair, we see. <laughs> you know, I just hope Daniel Bryan has. A good future. Um, <laughs> Grimm's Toy Show asks, believe it or not. Right here, Grimm's Toy Show. <laughs> he wants to know, who is behind the Vortex? <laughs> who is behind the Vortex? I have no fucking idea. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to say it can't be Jimmy uh it can't be Jimmy controversy. Uh It's either Tubby Tubby Emu cuz he's a big dude. 
Uh, it can't be Stan, because that fucker is tall. Uh, it can't be any of the Ninja Twins, because they're skinny as hell. It can't be Doohop. Doohop is between skinny and... He has a beer belly. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm going to probably say Tubby Emu. Maybe. Or it can't be Chris Lidecker. I don't know. I'm going to say Tubby Emu. I don't know, Graham. We're going to have to find out. Uh, do something with Tubby Emu and find out. Because maybe he's doing all this bullshit. <laughs> um, DJ Cool J828 says, Will you do stop motions? No, I will not. Uh, I really don't have the time to do stop motions. Uh, I don't know. I'm not crazy. I'm not a fan of really doing stop motions. Well, if you are, then, you know, that's cool. But I'm not going to do that. And the last question. Christopher Almeida. What is your favorite Elite flashback? Like I said before, and I'll say it again. Umaga. I was actually surprised when they announced that Umaga was going to be in the Elite. First time in line, flashback. Hands down, it's Umaga. Freaking love this damn figure. I love it so much. They did a hell of a job. Good job, Mattel. <laughs> and whatever they make in the future, you know, hopefully somebody good. <laughs> Alright, guys. That is it for my Q&A. All the questions got answered. I hope I answered your questions. And I hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment, notice, subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. And yes, I'm feeling better. Uh, I didn't make a video yesterday because I actually had work too early in the morning. And I was just out of it, tired. Wasn't even thinking about videos or nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.